But we begin with breaking news from the NBA. The league has just imposed a lifetime ban on Toronto Raptors player Jonte Porter. It follows an investigation into gambling allegations, which found Porter disclosed confidential game information to sports bettors and broke numerous league rules. Let's bring in the CBC's Miles Dichter for more. So, Miles, take us through the accusations against Porter and what the NBA investigation concluded. Hey, Andrew. Yeah, this is. This is big news. It's basically the highest crime a professional athlete can be accused and found guilty now of. The NBA, in a statement released just within the last hour, said it found Jonte Porter guilty of, of disclosing confidential information to bettors on two games. So those bettors were betting prop bets, betting on stats that Jonte Porter would produce, and in both games, he left early with what he claimed were illnesses and eye injuries. So he disclosed those information. The NBA also found that Porter was betting on NBA games. Now, he wasn't in the NBA while he bet on those games. He was playing for the Raptors G League affiliate, Raptors 905, but he did bet on NBA games as an NBA player, which is against the league's code of conduct. And so now, and, and and so now he's 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 been banned for life and he will never play in the NBA again. I mean, Miles, let's just talk about that. I know I know you're you're kind of laughing about it because it's just it's 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 a little bit shocking, right? I mean, this is a very this is the most severe punishment that you could ever level against a professional uh, athlete in this way. Uh, how big of a deal is this? I mean, it's huge, right? Just off the top of my head. In recent years, since sports betting has become sort of more accessible and more heightened online and available to athletes and all of us, this is sort of the first instance that a player has been banned for life from a sport. And so this is really Commissioner Adam Silver sending a message to the rest of the NBA, but basically to every professional athlete out there saying, that if you bet on games, if you bet on your own games, you're done. You're never gonna you're never gonna play sports again. What's interesting to ponder is, you know, John J. Porter, a two, he was on a two-way contract. He is sort of a bench player on a Toronto Raptors team that wasn't very good. He's not a very well-known player. He's probably best known for being the brother of the Denver Nuggets, Michael Porter Jr. The question, like, it was easy for Silver to come down with such a harsh punishment for a guy that isn't that well known and isn't going to impact the season. What would have happened if this was a higher profile player? Good question, Miles. So do you think, though, that the, 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 the punishment would not have been as severe? I mean, that we, can only, we can only speculate on that. and and. Maybe it would have been and maybe it wouldn't have been, but it's sort of just interesting to ponder how how this sort of ended up being kind of easy for Silver to come down so strongly and send that message. But, you know, if this was Steph Curry or LeBron James or any number of star players, you just wonder how the reaction might have might have changed. Uh, Miles, you know, it was just weeks ago that you and I were talking about the gambling allegations involving the interpreter for Dodgers star Shohei Otani. How big a problem is gambling in and around professional sports? And do you think we're just starting to see, do you think we'll see more and more of these stories? Well, gambling on sports isn't something that's new. I mean, it's been happening forever. You can go back to Shoeless Joe, Shoeless Joe Jackson, you go through Pete Rose. But now with, with, with all these apps and websites where you can bet on sports so easily and, every, and it's around you, you know, you turn on any sports cast, they, they have a partnership with a DraftKings or a FanDuel or whatever it might be. You can just have it at your fingertips. It's so easy to bet on sports now. We're going to see this problem more and more. And, and Porter isn't the first example. You know, the NFL has suspended suspended players for betting on games, including in one instance, betting on NFL games. The NHL suspended Shane Pinto, the Ottawa Senators forward for half the season this year. They didn't disclose, it was for betting, they didn't disclose what he was betting on. We don't have any more details on that. But I mean, you can even tell, like you said, we, we were just discussing sports gambling a couple of weeks ago, you and I. So clearly this is popping up 
more and more and more. And the question now is with Porter being banned for life, is this just the type of the iceberg or is this the breaking point where players finally realize, hey, we can't be doing this. Miles, uh, good of you to uh, talk to us about this on this uh, big day in the sporting world. Thank you. That is the CBC's Miles Dichter.